Welcome back to another Brian's Action Figure Reviews. And today, if you can see in front of you, our secret review is Marvel Legends Psylocke from the Apocalypse Wave. Um, before I start, obviously, if you'd like to see more stuff like this, subscribe to my page, my channel, my Instagram. There will be links in the description. Comment and tell us what you think of my reviews, what I could add, what I could drop, and get on over to Marvel Legends Community UK, Daily Dark UK, to join in on discussion and these figures and more, and get your figures like this at either capotoys.co.uk or comics and collectibles.co.uk if you're in the UK, that is. Otherwise, head to a Big Bad Toy Store or one of those places. So, there will be links to all of those in the description as well. And I'm going to start off pretty quick. This is Psylocke, of course. There's been many versions of her in the Marvel Legends line. Um, so I'm going to start off pretty quick with the box. As you can see, X-Men, Psylocke, Hasbro. At the top, we've got the, the nice... Let's just move her out of the way for a second. So we can get her box to... No, that sounds bad. <laughs> So we've got the funny X feeling sign, X sign feeling. Um, I think I one thing I love about the boxes, and it's a shame that some most of them get thrown out, is the awesome artwork that goes on the side. Look at Silock there, looks amazing. Again, you've got it. Stand up. You've got it on the other side as well. It looks straight out of a comic panel. Really is cool. On the back, we're gonna do the usual stuff. Betsy Braddock adapts the identity Psylocke, combining mastery of the martial arts with enhanced abilities in telekinesis and te telepathy. That's the word. And of course, you've got that awesome picture of the figure there with the fire background. Uh, yeah, so let's look through the other figures in the wave. A lot of you will know all these by now as I've reviewed a lot of them. Apocalypse. I still need a head for, by the way. Anyone who's got a build a figure head for Apocalypse, please let me know so I can finish him off and review him. Wolverine, Magneto, who I have, Gladiator, who I have, and didn't get the head for some reason or other. Sabretooth, Storm, who I also have, and plan on reviewing soon enough as well. Madrox, the one one who I don't have from this wave, Mick Spectre will kill me for that. Um, Cyclops, Psylocke, who I'm reviewing this minute. Uh, so yeah, that's the box. And on the bottom, as we know, we've got the, the barcode and... Made in China. What what does that actually say? Distributed by... Oh, yeah, that's just too much for me to read. So the box can go... Curse flat over there. And let's start with the figure. Now, what I'm going to start with is... The accessories. So I can get rid of them. Because they're quite fiddly. So she comes with this... Um, cool little headpiece. To, you know, it's like to mimic her... Uh, telepathy powers coming out or whatever. And that just that just slips on off her head, fits nicely on there as well. Um yeah, so that's pretty cool. I I keep her displayed with that on. Cause it gives her a real like, oh look at me, I'm so powerful. Um the fist comes with another little uh like whoosh, this thing could like blow your head off or something. Fits perfectly on her hand. What I do love about this figure is it comes with all these accessories and they all fit on the figure at once. So you don't lose them. <laughs> I know that's a silly complaint. That's a silly thing to say, but it's cool that um all her accessories are just isn't fulfilling the box. They actually work, fit on her, and look good on her as well. So, and also her kitana. I'm gonna say this is her kitana blade has a nice like a psychic thing on it as well, which you can just slip off. It's like the lightning on the Taurus hammer in the Infinity War wave. And I think it's really cool with it on. I think some people display it without it, but I think without it, it just looks like an, you know, any other sword. So I'm going to take her sword out of her hand for a few minutes so we can get a look at the rest of the figure properly. Now, as you, as I said earlier, there's been a lot of releases in of this character. Well, I think there's been th three maybe four. There was one that Toy Biz did. Um, it was one of my first legends and I actually walked into a shop and I saw it and I was like, wow. <laughs> I bought it because it was like five quid at the time and I brought it home and 
It's just alien like. I don't even have it anymore. It's probably one of the worst action figures I've seen Toy Biz do. Um, there was one from the X Force box set as well that I've seen people do really like, but from what I've seen, people seem think this is the best one. Now, Psylocke has always been kind of Asianish. Is that a word? Asianish. I'm just going to give a good look at her head sculpt here. I think she really looks proper womanly is the best word to say it like some figures she's been accused of looking i was mannish a bit but no i think she looks fantastic and she looks sorry on the dark there so let's run through her articulation for now uh rock her ankles they go wherever you want them to go double jointed knees which absolutely bend fantastically so she'd be great on a flight stand with an attack and pause the tie swivels on both sides and of course i'm not going to show you both legs because it's the same thing they go out that far so you can almost do the splits you go this far forward and that far back we don't have we don't have a waist swivel on her so and no ab crunch just a ball joint i think it is here barely moves you know, I think they have to fix that in their figure, female figures, maybe. Double jointed, is it? No. Single jointed elbows on her as well. But they go back quite far, so I don't think she really... Like, she, like I always say, like, look, if you can do the X-Force pose, you're fine. And she can do the X-Force pose from the film, obviously. The arms as well. Not the best. No bicep swivels either. I think the women figures get screwed on the... Articulation a lot. Head can go slight bit down. No, not really. Head is just on a ball joint. And of course, this is, um, if you look at the hair, this is the purple version. There is a version going around with her. She has black hair as well. So, despite what I've said about the articulation being not great, the paint is pretty good on her. Um, she looks like Psylocke. She looks like she could cut you in a second. Um, I don't have many pro many complaints with this figure at all, really. Um, I think if you're a Betsy Braddock fan, I think you should be pretty happy with this version of her. I don't know if the ar extra articulation that I mentioned, mentioned missing could do a whole lot more for it. Because I think with what she has here, you pretty much have everything the character needs. And I think the, the accessories work fantastically even the the like when i saw when i saw the the face thing in pictures i was like oh that's gonna be fiddly as fuck i'm gonna keep falling off but as you can see as you can see here it actually suits her perfectly and it doesn't fall off and she does look like a badass when you pose her it poses like this where she doesn't fall down i think maybe the leg articulation is enough for her despite uh, despite me saying 10 minutes Two or three minutes ago. She was missing a lot. But I think this figure doesn't really need it. So. My verdict on Psylocke. If I just shine a bit more lightener there. As you can see. It's kind of. Translucent-y stuff as well. I think my verdict on Psylocke is a win. It's a 7. Maybe. 9. 8.5 maybe 9 out of 10 for her. As I said. There's some articulation missing. But in the same hand. You don't really need it. So that's Psylocke and if you right, right right about now there should be links to subscribe and links to other videos popping up on the screen. This has been Psylocke and I'm Brian and I'm out of here. Stay tuned to MLC UK, the Daily Dark and all those other places I have linked in the description below. Thanks very much. Bye.